Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical, and today for you guys I've got some Kingdom Hearts 3 news and information. Today I'm going to be talking about the Kingdom Hearts World Tour concerts and the possibility of Kingdom Hearts 3 news and information getting displayed at these concerts. It's actually being confirmed by Tetsuya Nomura, so let's jump into exactly this. Now in case you guys don't know, the very first Kingdom Hearts World Tour concert happened over this past weekend over in Tokyo, Japan, and for the most part it was absolutely awesome. It went across According to plan. Now in terms of any announcements or anything getting revealed or displayed at the actual event itself, nothing really substantial ended up getting displayed other than the announcement of Kingdom Hearts Union Key. This is actually where the very first announcement of this whole Union Key thing uh, got displayed, so if you want to talk about any announcements and stuff, this really is the shining announcement that came out of the very first concert. Now as of recently, a lot of people have been talking about the factor of if Kingdom Hearts 3 information will be getting displayed at the very first concert or future concerts or not. And the reason why people have been talking about this is at the start of this year, Tetsuya Nomura mentioned that, of course, you know, the Kingdom Hearts World Tour concerts will be happening this year to, of course, commemorate 15th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. But he was talking about the fact that these concerts might actually be possible hotspots to present new Kingdom Hearts 3 information. It's just during that time, he hadn't made up his mind whether he was going to go through with it or not. Now, Famitsu has recently interviewed Tetsuya Nomura talking about the concerts, and he actually mentioned in this interview that information about Kingdom Hearts 3 will be getting revealed during the World Tour. Now, exactly when throughout the World Tour this information is going to be getting revealed, who exactly knows? There are still many different concerts happening throughout this year, for instance, we uh, have concerts happening on the 18th and 19th of March in Paris, the 24th and 25th of March happening in London, the 6th and 7th of May happening in Singapore, uh, the 28th of May happening in Shanghai, the 10th and 14th of June happening in Los Angeles, and of course, finally, the very last concert, which is happening on the 24th of June, happening in New York. Now, looking at these dates, in terms of what specific concert will be getting that Kingdom Hearts 3 information. If I were to put a bet on it, I would say either the Los Angeles concert or perhaps maybe the London concert. Now, the reason why I say LA or London is for one, London is very close. Like if you look at those dates, it's very close to that of the actual 15th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. And of course, as you guys should probably know, we've been talking a lot about this lately, but I think it'd be really cool if uh, Square Enix would actually come out and give us a brand new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer to say, hey guys, here's a brand new trailer. We know it's been a long ass time has a little way of celebrating the 15th anniversary of this franchise. However, though, looking towards the Los Angeles date, it's actually happening around the time of E3, and as you guys should probably know, E3 is like the biggest sort of gaming event throughout the year that happens yearly, and that's where like all the reveals and like new information and stuff get revealed, so it would kind of make sense to sort of coincide a concert that actually has Kingdom Hearts 3 information with E3 itself. Now I'm going to talk about this more in depth in a few days in its own set video, but as you guys should probably know, winter is coming to closure very, very quickly. And I know a lot of people have been talking about this specifically, but as you guys should probably know, last year for the E3 uh, 2.8 trailer, at the end of that trailer it displayed that there's going to be Kingdom Hearts 3 announcements and stuff coming this winter. And we still really haven't received too many announcements. Like I said, I want to talk about this more in depth because technically I feel like we sort of have, but then not to the degree that I think a lot of people were thinking. And when I say that, I mean a trailer. Like, I know a lot of people have been expecting a trailer, and th there's good reason behind that. It's been, it's been fucking ages since we've last seen anything to do with Kingdom Hearts 3, so I get people's frustration. Honestly, I get it. But bring the factor of the whole announcement thing in, I mean, yeah, perhaps maybe the next uh, concept that's happening only in a few days, that could also be a prime uh, opportunity for Tetsuya Nomura to actually come out and present something really substantial before this whole winter season is actually over. I'm really not too sure. I think one way or another we should be satisfied with the fact that we are actually getting some Kingdom Hearts 3 information throughout uh, the tour. Whenever that's happening, who exactly knows? I've got no fucking idea. But I think it's satisfying as hell to know that we are actually getting some Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> 3 information. Some 
some time from now up until, of course, halfway through the year, being that of June. So once again, we're playing the waiting game, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see what the rest of this month brings us. Okay, guys, hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Thought I'd get this news and information out to you dudes because it's really good to know that at some stage within these next three months, we're going to be getting some Kingdom Hearts 3 information, which is always good. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.